Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. I've got a lesson on Thingiverse, so let's get cracking. Friends, if you've never visited Thingiverse.com, it has an amazing amount of parts that you can download and 3D print. I am hunting for a special bottle cap, so I did some searching here. Let me show you what I found. This sweet little bottle cap works in Customizer, which is really sweet because you can adjust the settings and then it builds it for you. Huge shout out to this user, Deprium, or however you say it, uh, for creating it. When you hit Open in Customizer, it takes you to this awesome screen where you can change the parameters to get the bottle cap you need. When you're done, you hit Create Thing. It puts your thing in your queue and then you just have to wait for it to show up. So my friends, I clicked my queue and you can see that 21 hours later, I still don't have my bottle cap, which is a total drag. But my friends, I've got a solution for you. If we return to the page where the bottle cap was, you can hit view source. And you'll notice that this says dots SCAD, which is for open SCAD. I'm gonna do control A to grab it all. I'm gonna do control C and I'm gonna grab open SCAD. Now you can see I've already done this, but I'm gonna just do it again. When you hit file new, it's blank. When you paste it in, it adds the amazing code that this user created. Usually if you look at the top, the user will have put their information so they get credit for it. It's not up here, but I do wanna give you a shout out. This is awesome code and I'm totally enjoying using it. So when you change these, let's just say I made this 31. If you press F5, it'll re-render with the new sizes. So that's how these work, is you can adjust them to look exactly the way you want. I'm gonna put that back to 30 because this is just how I like it. Once again, I'm gonna render with an F5. Once you've got all your settings the way you want, notice you can look at this from every angle by left click dragging. If you right click drag, it pans. You can then render your final quality version. If I hit the word design and go to F6, that's the final render, which always makes me think of Iron Man. When you've got your final part rendered, you can simply click on file and export. And then I want an STL. As Soon as you hit that, you pick your folder. I've already made it once, but just so I can show you how quick it is, I'm gonna hit save and bam, my part is done. And then I'm gonna bring this part into Tinkercad where I'm building the rest of this project. So one last wrap up friends, if you are ever stuck in the customizer queue, you can return to the customizer, find the source, and you can just simply plop that code into OpenSCAD. If you've never seen OpenSCAD, it is the programmer's solid 3D CAD modeler. And if you go down here to download, and friends, there's a couple things I want you to know. First, it is tiny, 27 meg, and it is free. How cool is that? Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.